so we're on our way to the live yes it's finally here been waiting all week for this since I had to work <laughs> been working all week and finally we're going to the live so I'm excited it's live today live tomorrow and then back to work again oh, I wish I wasn't working but yeah has to be done but first we're gonna eat mmm I'm hungry. So this is pretty much my lunch for the day. Fried potatoes like always. <laughs> and then ayakudon, which is like chicken and eggs over rice. And then miso soup, so that's pretty cool. And some water. <laughs> and then this guy, he got like a tonkatsu set. Yeah, which is like tonkatsu salad, rice, tofu, and then tonkatsu dipping sauce, and then miso soup. Mm. And that's pretty much our lunch for today. So we have arrived at Super Life Theater area, this is Takadana Baba, here to see Dim Lim. Yes! Chotto, 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 chotto. Jim Lim, yay! Yeah, so we're here to see them tonight. It starts at what, 5.30 to 6, so yeah. Ah, see? But then there's A through 50, so we're B something. Um, so where do we wait? Can we show them the ticket? Yeah. Oh, time to answer. So it's pretty different, like, um, I haven't been to one like this. Usually we all just pile up in the front, but at Takadana Baba area, it looks like they just have you like line up like around the corner. So we're like B24 in B25. And then on the wall, as you can see, there's like a B sign and there's an A sign down there. So this is just the waiting area, the waiting game. Oh. And it's so cold. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Pretty much the, in the entire Takadana Baba area. Probably like 300 people can fit here. Yeah. And this guy. The live studio of Takadana Baba area. And we are pretty much done. It's pretty cool. Um, probably one of the heaviest ones I went to, but pretty much like always, my favorite part was the ballad. So I'll give you an update on how it went. But we are finished and we are leaving. This was Dim Lim at Takadana Baba area Super Life Theater. It's not, well, I guess it actually it was bigger than I thought compared to the picture that Dennis showed me before. But yes, update on it tomorrow was walking out of the live and then I saw this bitch karaoke. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably not how it is actually called, but <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, but yeah. Hey guys, so recently this weekend I went to go see Dim Lim. Um, it was pretty exciting actually. Um, it's the first time I actually seen them live and it was what pre-planned for like some time ago. I want to say we kind of got the tickets when it came out so we we're supposed to see them for some time so I was actually excited to see them but I was kind of like half and half like I do like kind of harder rock these days but I mean I really do follow kind of like one band the most when it comes to like hard rock and that's Nocturnal Bloodlust which I saw the day after so I'll tell you about that in the next um, live review but um, Dim Lim they were actually pretty good I've I've heard some of their stuff before and I was I was feeling it like halfway so I was just like okay let's like actually like go see them plus um, Dennis wants to see them so I was like okay he wants to see them and I want to really give them a try I did buy like their first um, mini album like both of the versions of it but there was three versions but one was live limited so I got the two and they had one song that I really really loved so from then I was just like hmm it may be like okay to see it and just see you know how I feel about it there's like two ballads on that mini album that I actually like but um the last one is 
what minstrel cycle but um in japanese so i was just like i really like that song at least i was just like okay well if anything at least once they play that song i'll be happy because um the other songs i was just like okay about but um i was like as long as they play at least that song like i'll be good so we went there and our tickets were B25 and I think B26. So we were in the B section. Um, what happens when you go to live sometimes is they have different sections like an A, a B, and maybe a C, a D, or something like that depending on, I guess, how big the actual venue is and how they're doing numbers. Um, we were B25 and 26, but we didn't know exactly how close we'd be able to get because we saw the A. So we saw like the, um, the entrance and then we're just like, okay, so like, we could just go in and just like stand there because we just saw like this little like line of people. So we're like, cool. And then we showed the guy our tickets and he was just like, uh, <laughs> um, actually like, he was like this way, but I think he meant really that way. But he said that way and we're like, what? And then we saw like this um, paper is just like on the wall and it's like A0 through whatever and then A like 20. So we're walking down like the back of this alley and then we saw the bees and we're like oh no like we're far like we're not going to be up close to the band so I was like oh man but um it actually turned out in our favor because when they finally started moving and it was actually really really cold because it had snowed recently and it was like really cold so for everybody actually else I was like man I really want to go inside pretty much um so it started finally moving and then we we're making our way inside and as soon as like I got in like I just pretty much saw like everybody was sitting there waiting getting drinks and stuff like nobody really cared I guess to really be close to the stage or I don't I don't really know because no usually people run in and try to hurry up and fill up the um front you know but like nobody really did that like there was a few here and there like some that just like put themselves in the back some put themselves in the middle and then like a few in the front so I was like wow you know like pretty much I could just go straight to the front so I went to the front Dennis was behind me and then like then after that like some other people came in a little bit late so they obviously people were saving for their friends too so like you know it kind of made me go like a little bit further but like I was like you know like on a front row so I was actually in size in which is like the front most row pretty much to the stage so that's pretty cool because it was like the first time i actually got to see them live and i was actually in the front so that was like wow that was pretty amazing and i didn't even think i was gonna get that close so i was like yes you know so um i mean but like i said i didn't i, I was trying to like debate if i how much i really want to follow them because like i'm sh they're good but like they don't give me nocturnal bloodless good yet I don't know, I just love Hiro, so like, that could just be one. But anyway, besides the point, um, you know, it started and then like, you know, they, they came on stage, it was three of them, and then they had like a support bassist and a support drummer, you know, which they didn't look like the other three main people in the band now because two of the members actually left recently. So they look pretty different the actual bassist and the drummer because they're in different bands so they didn't have like the same get up you know pretty much as the three members or main members since that's what they are now but like it just went and then you know he just started with like his screams and growls and like it, it's actually pretty different because like um that was actually the first live that i've been to where i want to say majority of the attendees were male um there was some girls here and there, but like majority, I want to say were male. If we want to give like a percentage, maybe 60 to 70 percent guys. And then I want to say 40 to 30 percent girls, probably like around there. Um, but there was more guys than girls. But like he, they went and there was like screams and growls. They were they actually sounded like just like they do like on the singles and mini albums that they produce so far so th that's actually what I like to see like I don't want it to be better than the, sing the singles and mini albums that I already like or love but if it's worse then that kind of sucks it's just like oh well then like I'll lose that kind of fire for them but like it was just as good as like the singles you know and um he still did his highs like he does in like you know his songs so I was just like okay so that's you know that's pretty exciting 
And then from there, like, I don't know. They, there was, like, parts where he tell everybody, like, to pretty much, you know, like, make a, what, clear a path, pretty much. So you clear a path and then they go on both sides. And then for that song, like, you kind of, like, run into each other or whatever. You know, that's, like, I'm so bad at these days because I've never done it before. But it was just so crazy because, like, I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know if I should or not because I was like but then I felt bad because like what if I'm the only one that's not doing it so like you just open up a path and then everybody runs into each other like that pretty much I don't know like if you want to say like two ways just like hitting into each other so you know we did that and like I did it I would do it one time like every time he did it <laughs> said it I would do it one time and then I would just go back and I just I'll be dying laughing like I was laughing so hard on the side and then like some girls like they they would probably do it one time too and then they're like okay I'm done you know or some they wouldn't really try too much but the guys like they were all into it like they were ah, and they were just hey, and then they were just going in circles and stuff and I'm just like okay and then like then he started the music again pretty much or well the time for you to like go back into like fist bumping or like um headbanging or something like that so then it kind of stopped but I think he did that like three or four times so that was pretty it was my first time actually doing that so I'm bad with the names like I said over time I'll get better <laughs> but um it was actually it was actually I don't know it was the funniest thing to me I don't know because I guess I never saw myself doing it I guess I don't know but like I did it but then like as soon as it finished every time I laugh so hard like I don't know I don't know it's making me laugh now like I, I just don't I don't know it was it was still it was fun though it was fun I want to say the live was really really fun though especially that part and I don't know I just I do like that when well this one's a little bit different from like some of the other ones I went because like there's more guys and guys don't tend to do too much I want to say than like the girls. The girls always have like their kind of set up of what they're going to do when it comes to head banging and um, like hand movements and so forth. The guys, especially on this one, but maybe it's just because it's mostly guys so they don't really try anyway. They, they would fist bump. Um, they did like what? that tidal wave motion uh, obviously they love that one um, and that was pretty much it when there was head banging I wasn't really looking at them so I don't really know maybe they did but um, I'm sure it was still different from the other lives that I've been to but I don't know I was just happy that I was able to actually like go out and do it uh, <laughs> uh, and I laughed like so hard and on the I actually show like you a picture like right here of what the band looks like right now um, it's different because he's like black faced in the picture but he didn't actually come out with a black face when he was at the live it was like actually white and it had a black lines on it so I don't know if it was too hot or if it was just for the actual MV that you can actually see in the description box below but um, he kind of changed just his face makeup compared to what I actually thought he was going to come out on stage to look like, which was the main vocalist. Um, I don't think any of them had the same makeup on. They had the same clothes, but the makeup was different from what they actually had in their promotional, what, MV and um, the actual picture that they had for like their last single that they came out with. But it was actually pretty fun, you know. And then there's like a few different things that they gave us for going. You know, um, they announced at the end that they're, they have like their first anniversary live. So that's Dim Limbs. You know, it's coming kind of like this summer. And there's two different ones. There's a one on the top, as you can see. It says like Boku. Usually Boku is for used for guys. So if you want to look right here, then it will say like that must be for guys. And then the second one is Watashi. Usually what girls would use. So then... That'd be like probably like a boy and a girl live. I actually would like to see what the girl live looks like because I actually wonder how many girls are there compared to guys. Because I want to say that if anything, the guy one is probably going to like be sold out. But I wonder about the girl one. Or maybe the girls don't show up too much because the guys are kind of aggressive maybe. I don't know. But uh, I've never. this is the first I've actually been to Dimlim. And I haven't been to any of the other ones. So maybe that's 
why I really don't know but their first anniversary one live one man live is coming up soon um, they're actually releasing a concept album that's coming out this summer concept meaning that they're all gonna have the same theme in the song so I'm guessing they're gonna probably have like a theme to look to so I'm looking forward to that cuz you know after the um, two guys left which were the bassist and the drummer a lot of people were kind of scared that maybe they'll disband because they were a newer band but like if they're coming out with a concept album I'm guessing they're gonna be around so and the first anniversary live so maybe they're not Ikebukuro Black Hole if you guys ever well if you guys want to check them out you know that's coming up pretty soon because I feel like summer will be here in like a few seconds also there was like a live limited CD that they gave us um They've released two live limited singles now. One was for a birthday live for the drummer Issei who left the band. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there, there's that. But um, they gave us this one too for birth and like I'm guessing like an SE. So I don't know. I didn't check it out yet. I'll probably check it out sometime soon. <laughs> um, I don't think they played it, but I don't know. I was only really looking forward to one song. Then they had this other ballad that I was just like, oh, that was actually good. And didn't even realize that I had it. I looked it up. I had it already. But <laughs> that's how much I didn't really play their music up into going. I played it a few times, but it's been some time because I just have so many bands that I follow that it's kind of hard to keep up. You know, also got three checkies. So first we have the vocalist Show. We have the guitarist Ryuya. And we have the second guitar, so that's it. So it's actually pretty cool because I got three different checkies that I chose like at random. And it had like all three members on it, so that was pretty cool. But at the same time, they had this thing where if the checkie was actually signed and that had something like written on it, then you got to take a picture with one of the members that you want to take a picture with. Um, I chose at random and I didn't get any. Dennis actually got one, so he took a picture with, I want to say Retsu, because that was his favorite member. Um, I usually go for vocalists in all bands, so I'm sure I probably would have took a picture with Show, but I mean, <laughs> who knows? Um, randomly I didn't get chosen, so obviously I probably wasn't supposed to take a picture with them this time around. So we'll see, maybe sometime in the future. But that was pretty much my live experience for Dim Lim. It was actually really fun. I enjoyed it immensely and I'm excited to go to their next live whenever that may be I may go to like their next well their first first anniversary one man live in uh, June but we'll see I gotta figure out where I'll actually be before I start buying any more live tickets pretty much but anyway that's pretty much it I'll see you guys next time bye oh wow you're still here oh wait don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social medias, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.